Let's look at a gas phase equilibrium. Here's the reaction of nitrogen and hydrogen to form ammonia. Now this reaction is important industrially because nitrogen, although it's abundant, there's 70% of it in the air we breathe, it's unreactive. There's a triple bond in N2. It's an unreactive molecule. But nitrogen is required for all life. It's in our proteins and DNA. So getting nitrogen from this unreactive form to a reactive form is important in both nature and industry. In industry, to make fertilizers, and in nature, to fix the nitrogen so plants and animals can grow. This nitrogen fixation reaction is exothermic. It releases 92 kilojoules per mole of nitrogen that reacts. Now, if you wanted to do this industrially to fix nitrogen so you could make a fertilizer, you'd like that reaction to go quickly and efficiently. So the reaction's slow at room temperature, so raising the temperature will accelerate the chemical reaction. Raising the temperature increases the motion of the molecules and accelerates the kinetics of the reaction. But you're fighting thermodynamics because as you raise the temperature, an exothermic chemical reaction will tend to favor the reactants. So K decreases. So you start to favor reactants as the temperature increases. So you want to fight that. And one way to do it is to raise the pressure. Le Chatelier's principle tells you if you raise the pressure, you're going to favor the ammonia side. And why is that? Well, raising the pressure, you have four moles of gas on this side and two moles of gas on this side. So the product side is favored. It would shift towards products to relieve that high pressure situation, shift towards the fewer molecules. So I can get it to shift towards products as I raise the temperature, which tends to favor reactants. The balance is to go to a relatively high temperature, 500 degrees C, and an extremely high pressure, 200 atmospheres. That will efficiently balance the kinetics, the speed of the reaction, and the thermodynamics that are tending to make it favor reactants. So efficient conditions for ammonia synthesis, high temperature, and high pressure, something we can understand through our knowledge of Le Chatelier's principle.